इसके अंदर बहुत सारे हम लोग जो है मार्जिन रखेंगे कि अगर इन केस कोई चेंजेस आती है तो हमारे पास कौन कौन से मार्जिन हैं कि हम अपनी कल्चर के अंदर जो है वो चेंजेस ले के आ सकते हैं एज आई एम ऑलरेडी मैंशनिंग दैट योर सब्जेक्ट इज बेसिकली डिपेंडिंग ऑन द चेंज दैट वट एवर काइंड ऑफ चेंज इज हैपनिंग आउटसाइड ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हाउ वी कैन अटैच इट विद द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द चेंज और द नेचर ऑफ द चेंज वी हैव टू डिस्कस दैट वट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वी हैव इन आर कल्चर तो ये एक मॉडल है सेच इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर मॉडल जिसके अंदर हम चीज़ें देखेंगे कि ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के कल्चर के अंदर क्या क्या चीज़ें जो हैं वो इंजेक्ट होती हैं या क्या क्या चीज़ें ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट करती हैं बिफोर मूविंग आइड वी शुड नो टू टर्म द फर्स्ट वन इज़ नोमोथैटिक एंड द अदर वन इज़ आइडियोग्राफिक नो वट इज़ द नोमोथैटिक नोमोथैटिक इज समथिंग यू विल सी कॉमन थिंग इन द पब्लिक For example, if you are uh, talking about Pakistan, you will see that every person is wearing shalwar kameez. It's a common thing. Now, this is known as a uh, local culture or the public culture that public here in Pakistan putting or wearing shalwar kameez. It's a very common thing. Okay. If I talk about uh, what other main common thing you can see in in the majority of the public, you you may say that they speak Urdu. now this is a common thing or the common culture or the culture where or which majority of the people share with each other now this is as nomothetic if uh, you are in a hospital you will see that everyone wearing white color uh, dress now you can see that they might be a doctors or if there is a female you can say that they are the nurses this is a common thing you will see in the hospital in almost every hospital this is a nomothetic aap ek common cheez public ke andar dekhte hain majority log usko follow kar rahe hote hain now you can say that this is a part of their culture well the ideographic it's not uh, you can say it's a common it's depends and it's very from individual to individual you both guys melina and uzair you will take tomorrow class uh, that will be between 11 to 12 then we will discuss uh, what is nomothetic and ideographic because uh, this is the content of ob but before uh, understanding the concept of uh, such an organization culture model so there should be uh, some basic idea that what is nomograph nomothetic and ideographic so the ideographic is an individual nature is an individual personality nomothetic is a common thing you will see in the society however uh, the ideographic is an individual personality if you are agar aap dekh rahe hain kisi logon ko ki unhone shalwar kameez pehni hai now you can see they they are for example pakistanis or uh, it's a part of their culture but agar aap individually kisi ko study karenge might be possible two person sitting together they both have different personalities they both have different kind of a nature so that's the things we are studying about an individual this is known as ideographic ideographic is the personality or is the nature or is the culture of an individual not the society but whenever we studying in the perspectives of the society where the common things you can easily observe is known as nomothetic so Uh, by considering this concept such as organization culture model set in an organization there are basically three different layers artifacts values and assumed perception or assume uh, ideas or observation of a person which have a significant influence on the organization culture or organization itself now the first c now you can see this diagram the first layer of the organization culture is artifact now what is artifact artifact it's something that you can see easily you can at least uh, observe that not only observe it, but you can easily uh, ob- see them for example uh, maybe some people wearing a special kind of a clothes if uh, somebody is wearing a white black shirt or some kind of a yellow 
pant now you can see maybe he or uh, she is a policeman then we have uh, some kind of uh, traffic police uniform these are those things that you can easily see them easily observe them that where these people are belongs to this is known as the first level or the characteristics of the organization which which can easily be viewed here and felt by individual collectively is known as artifacts for example the dress code of the employees or you can say office furniture could be then uh, facilities or behavior of the employees if you are uh, in a hotel or in a uh, in a bank now you can see the people have very a very uh, a very good behavior they will they will behave uh, like they are a very friendly to their customer might be possible in on individual basis he is not a well or he's, he's he don't have a very good behavior but it's a part of their organization culture that whenever you will meet or you, whenever you are in a position to deal with the customer you have to be very polite so mission and the vision of the organization all come under the artifacts and go a long way in deciding the culture of the workplace these are something that you can easily see and easily can judge this is known as the first layer of the organization that you can easily view by your eyes this is the first layer of any organization culture and this is known as what this is known as artifacts now we have a two kind of organization organization a and organization b now what is the difference between organization a and the organization b for example we have a organization uh, you will uh, you can easily see such kind of the organization who are operating in your uh, society the organization a uh, might be possible no one in the organization a is allowed to dress up casually they have a very strict policy on their uniform and you have a better idea you can easily uh, view them employees respect their supervisor and avoid unnecessary disputes it's another reason you can easily at least observe the individual are very particular about the deadlines and ensure that tasks should or will be complete within a given time frame however if if we talk about the organization b now i i am actually giving you the difference between both organization mean you can easily see the difference between both organizations so what is the organization b the organization b where employees can wear whatever they feel like like for example if you are in a college you have a proper dress and you are accountable for your uh, dressing but if you are in a university uh, you can wear whatever you like the most then individual in the organization b are at least bothered about work and spend their maximum time in gossiping around now this these are those things which we can easily observe which comes under the part of or which comes under the account of artifacts the next things which we have such an organization's model is values is a shared values now what is the shared values the shared values are the organization value which further depicts inside or which further inject in the employees and they shared it with their juniors remember one thing this model is a uh, depending on that you can't uh, make an organization culture within a single day it takes a lot of time you always learn from your experiences your past experiences you learn and then you deliver it to your coming employees and your new employees try their best to adjust into your organization culture so whatever what are the values the values of the individual working in an organization 
like it's play a huge role in deciding the organization culture the way this person in behaving in the organization the value this person has it's actually deciding the what kind of a or culture organization has the thought process and the attitude of the employees have a deep impact on the organization culture and particularly on the organization what people actually think matters a lot for the organization as well these are those things which normally people shared with each other the working condition of the organization how it affect on the employees it is a kind of a very stressful environment then you will see that your employees has some kind of headache problem he is not in a position to maintain their work and family life this is all those things or you can say he or she is in a lot of burden work burden they are facing a kind of workloads these are those things put it or putting by or putting from the organization i mean it's a very similar like a go and flow the 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 way organization behave with the employees same employees will behave to their coming employees in the organization if they are in a stressful position they will put stress into the coming employees stress is sometimes very peaceful and sometimes it's a negative sometime you need to give stress to the employees in the order to take a very good benefits in the order to take very good results why we are putting stress just to get best from the employees but it shouldn't be too much if you are putting a lot of stress maybe uh, more than the limit or more than the tolerance level or more than the acceptance level of the employees it will put a negative impact on the employees like if i talk about the stress level in the bank sector there is a research who said that 85% of the employees facing heart problem and where where they are belongs to they are belongs to a banking industry 85% of the employees now you can see the level of stress in the banking sector and in the end you will see that 85% of employees who are struggling from her disease the last one in the sechin model of the organization culture is assumed value these are some kind of a basic assumptions of the employees doesn't matter employee like or dislike it but it has a significant influence on the organization culture these are something by the employees which you can't measure but do make a difference to the culture of the organization there are certain beliefs and the facts which stay hidden but do affect the culture of the organization the inner aspects of a human nature comes under the third level of the organization culture and this is known as the basic assumption of the employees like for example organization where female workers are dominant their work make a counterparts do not believe in late sitting as female are not very comfortable with such kind of a culture if i take it opposite if we have a organization where the male are in a dominant position you will see they prefer late sitting they will they, you will see they enjoy tea coffee after the office these are some basic concepts of the human 
you can't see but if they are in a majority you will see the impact like if you are sitting in somewhere in the office and you'll see that your office will closed at for example 8 pm but there are some females you have no other option but to ask them that they can leave the office at 6 because might be possible they have some kind of a transportation issues you can't allow them to sit late in the office why because there are so many kind of uh, beliefs and the thoughts I am teaching to all of you guys but I have to speak within my limits why because I know there are certain beliefs that I should be in my boundary because you guys are a student then you are a student then secondly there are some male and female this is nothing but a certain kind of a certain kind of a belief of a person this is my belief might be possible there is another teacher who have a different kind of a belief and he is treating their students like equally he is treating their students like a male and female it's not about treating but you have to select the words this is nothing but the impact but the background but the role of some kind of a belief and where it comes it comes from the culture a human has five different institute in their life the first one is their mother lap like a home the other one is their society the third one is their religion the fourth one your politics the last one where you are sitting you are sitting over there this is your learning attitude this is your learning institute after that you'll go to the office might be possible and you have a some kind of a gathering again this will be your institute and your belief and your thoughts are the projection or are the reflection of your all the institutes so whenever you have some your basic fundamental thoughts your fundamental beliefs it might be possible comes from your mother lab your society and your politics it comes from anywhere but once your beliefs decide that this is wrong and this is right doesn't matter but if you are sitting somewhere it will put an impact on your culture you are sitting in Pakistan you may disagree on many things but you can't speak openly because you know that majority of people against you majority of the people don't think the way like you do why you are why you can't speak openly because you know that there is no acceptance level so you can't do anything you may disagree on so many things which are practiced in in your society in your culture but you can't say this is wrong because the majority of the people practicing all those stuff again you can see majority of the people following that kind of a belief or following that kind of a practice you may disagree but you don't have other option but to practice it this is the way 
all these beliefs play humongous role in the organization level majority of the pupils believe organization belief depends on such kind of a majority so belief of the individual it's something else but it's become the belief of the group the organization culture will rely on their belief as i said if if majority of the women are working in an office you will see they won't allow there or there wouldn't be allow any kind of late sitting but if there are male you will see if the majority of the women working over there you can't say them that we have to sit for example till 10 or there should be some kind of a late sitting you can't say might be possible this is right for you but not for the them and they are in a majority so whenever people are in that majority they make they develop they build or they create a culture and this is what sachin said that this is the way an organization culture develop and this is not develop within a single day it's develop basically it takes too much time there are so many experience behind that culture making process every home has a different culture there is a different culture inside your home now you can see your parents develop that how your per, uh, parents develop that or why they are developing developing such kind of a culture you will see throughout their life maybe they are in the age of 50s you can see they have 50 years of life experiences and after 50 years of spending their life in that world now they have decided that their home culture should be like this and you guys are now following their culture you can't say that i have to make my home culture no it will take a lot of time first you need to learn you need to practice and then you will execute that at certain or specific boundary so these are the some layers you can say the part of any organization the part of any society any politics any religion not should i say the religion but it's a kind of a society